Welcome to Brooklyn College President Michelle Anderson. Hi everyone and good evening. Welcome to Brooklyn College. I want to welcome you to our beautiful campus. If you haven't been here during the daylight, I want to ask you to return. There is a beautiful bust of a bronze bust of Martin Luther King Jr. right in front of our library just next door. So I want you to come back on a beautiful day and come see that. Uh, there is a, this is a great evening. It's a wonderful event. I want to thank in particular Senator Parker for bringing us all together here tonight to celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, I know that because of this week in particular, there is no better time to celebrate the life and legacy of Martin Luther King uh, and the people who worked with him, uh, like Representative John Lewis. Uh, this institution here at Brooklyn College in so many ways represents the culmination of an aspect of Martin Luther King's dream, that is, equal opportunity for education for all. We have a student body of about 17,000 students that represents almost 100 different nations. They speak more than 40 languages, and we live in an incredibly diverse community, and we live in peace, and we study in peace. Our alumni include such powerhouses as Shirley Chisholm, U.S. Congresswoman, the first African-American woman. Yes. As you know, the first African-American to run for president, the first woman to run for the Democratic Party's presidential nomination. Other alums include Gloria Naylor, author of The Women of Brewster Place, and more recently, yes, and more recently, uh, Paul Beatty, who was the first American ever to win the Man Booker Prize, a graduate of Brooklyn College. I uh, just want to let you know about a couple things happening this sem spring semester, and then I'm going to let the program move on. We are celebrating a number of events to underscore our commitment to inclusion and to diversity here. And these events include a John Hope Franklin celebration here at Brooklyn College, lectures and films on African American history celebrating the life and work of John Hope Franklin. That's going to be on February 28th. It's going to be incredible. There's going to be an exhibition about his life in our library. There's going to be a performance of the play called John Hope Franklin. And we're also going to have a panel and lecture presentation by a series of scholars and Pulitzer Prize winning authors, including Paula Giddens, author of the iconic When and Where I Enter, The Impact of Black Women on Race and Sex in America. Additionally, March 22nd here, in Whitman Theater, we're going to have a tapestry of choral music, a freedom concert, poetry and prose modeled after concerts presented by Coretta Scott King throughout the Civil Rights Movement under the direction of Professor Malcolm Merriweather and featuring the Choir of the Conservatory here at Brooklyn College. I want you to please stay in touch with Brooklyn College. This is your college. This is a community-based space here. And I want you to stay in touch with us on the web, through social media, and please return to campus for one or more of these events. Thank you so much for joining us here today, and welcome. By the age of, Nikki, is it live? By the age of five, Liz Black was using her gift of gab and emceeing talent shows. She brings sunshine, happiness, and pure elation to countless listeners throughout the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, tri-state area on Sunday mornings on 107.5 WBLS, New York's only R&B station from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. and 1190 WLIB, New York's only 24-hour gospel station from noon to 3 p.m. Her show, The Liz Black Show, is a syndicated show on the Re Rejoice Musical Soul Food Network, a two-hour show currently on 25 stations. Liz is also the evening personality, Monday through Fridays, 7 p.m. to midnight on WMCA, 5, 7 to a.m., New York's Christian Talk. She is a 2012 and 2014 Stellar Award nominee for Radio Personality of the Year. 
She is the voice and face of Super Radio's syndicated daily gospel news and entertainment segment, Gospel 360, and she was just named the voice for BT, BT's new gospel show, Joyful Noise, hosted by Ty Tribbett. Liz is a 2013 recipient of the Woman of Excellence Award from Reverend Al Sharpton's The National Action Network Women's Auxiliary. In addition to all that she does, Liz is a prayer warrior and the host of a weekly corporate prayer conference call that is led by dynamic ministry leaders. Her favorite scripture is Philippians 4.13, I can do everything through Christ who strengthens me. Liz was the scripture... Liz uses this scripture as her mantra and goes about her daily ministry of talking to the masses. Backed by popular demand, ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm Brooklyn welcome to our very own Mistress of Ceremonies, the incomparable Liz Black. Praise the Lord, everybody! What's going on? Y'all all right? Y'all sounded kind of wimpy. I don't know if it was because of me. Make some noise for Jesus! All right. You know, I'm really happy to be here with you today. I was going to say this is my 15th year hosting it, but they've only been doing it for 13. So I wouldn't be telling the truth. I think it's my sixth year. So I'm happy to be back again that they called me to be back again. It's a shared dream foundations, Martin Luther King celebration. Come on and put your hands together and make some noise. Now, have you said hi to the person next to you if you don't know them? Y'all, you be telling me any old thing. Make sure you say hi to somebody you don't know. Because we're going to be here for a little bit worshiping. And you can look them in the eye right now and tell, oh, yeah, they're going to go in. I can feel it. Did anybody come here to just enjoy this day of service? Did you all do something today? Yes. We didn't just sleep and eat, right? And wait for the concert. No, we didn't do that. I want to uh, I want to announce our sponsors. They are here, so we need to show them love because how many of you have come here more? This is not your first time. Make some noise. That's what I thought. And how many of you got discount tickets? How many of you got them for free? Did a hundred more people just come in the theater or what? All right, so we got to show some love for our sponsors because they make this happen year after year. Metro Plus, Share, the City University of New York, Con Edison, The Junction, Reb Nee, and of course, 1190 WLIB and WBLS 107.5. All right, so we've got a great night. We're going to have a lot of fun. If you take any pictures, I need you to hashtag a shared dream foundation so folks know that we're here. Can I just get an amen? amen? All right, I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. All right, at this time, we're going to have our welcome. So I want you to put your hands together for Donna Myria. She comes forward with the welcome now from a shared dream foundation. community. I'm Donna Myrie, the treasurer of A Shared Dream Foundation. On behalf of the board of A Shared Dream Foundation, thank you for joining us once again this evening to celebrate the life and legacy of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. As a long-standing member of the board and this community, I'm so proud to see the growth of this program and organization. I'm happy to see you here this evening. Over the last 13 years, we've had some great moments. No matter the climate of this country, we have, we have been able to share eight years with the 44th President, Barack Obama. <laughs> the first African-American president, an accomplishment I'm sure Dr. King hoped for. Right now is an emotional time for many as President Obama's term comes to a close and a new administration begins. No matter the fears we have entering this unknown territory with this administration, we must keep hope 
at the center. Dr. King had hope. It was a part of what fueled his drive to civil rights for our community and ultimately the foundation of his accomplishments. Without Dr. King's hope, there would likely be no President Barack Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama, for whom we are immensely proud. So, so we must continue. Even with the uncertain looming, Dr. King did, and a sheer dream is here to help the community push forward as he did. Thank you again for sharing this celebration year after year. We hope you'll join us next year. I'd like to profusely thank our sponsors for their partnership to produce this year's show. They are Charter, Metro Plus, Share, Con Edison, Rebney, The Flatbush Bid, WLIB, WBLS, Tropical Paradise, Golden Crust, Spice Catering Incorporated, Zen Lounge, Crystal Manor, and Deidre Lovell for photography. Without, this, without them, this show would not be possible. Many, many thanks from a Shared Dream Foundation. And please, community, family, keep hope at your center. The Ifitayo Cultural Arts Academy is an arts and cultural organization dedicated to supporting the creative, educational, and vocational development of youth and families of African descent in Flatbush, Brooklyn, and surrounding communities. Ifitayo was born in the spring of 1989 as a six-week series of free modern dance classes for 50 students. It has since grown to encompass six integrated programs that serve over 2,000 students annually through their on-site academic and literacy training pro classes, performing martial and visual arts classes, personal skills development, community development, cultural heritage classes, socially responsible art making, and an additional 5,000 youth and families through their affiliated programs and public performances. In addition, they provide social services to their students and their families either directly or through referrals to the strategic to strategic partners. The organization's name comes from the West African Yoruba word, Ifetayo, which means love is enough for joy, and captures Ifetayo's nurturing approach to empowering youth and redefining community development. Their mission is in line with the Ashanti proverb, you must act as if it is impossible to fail.
I'm in denial And it don't take no x-ray To see right through my smile I know I'll be on the go And it ain't no drink out there That can numb my soul Oh no All we want to do is take the chains off All we want to do is break the chains off man. All we want to do is be free all we want to do is be free. All we want to do is take the chains off. All we want to do is break the chains off. Me. All we want to do is be free. All we want to do is be free. Can you tell me why? Every time I step outside, I see my niggas die. Here to offer a song of hope, singer-songwriter, Dennis Worship.
everybody. How y'all doing? Oh, there's light. All right, so what we're doing, we're just setting up right now. So what I want to do is find out how many of y'all from Brooklyn in the house right now? It doesn't sound like there's anybody else here. Any other boroughs make some noise? Oh. All right, so we're just setting up for the next one. We have a great, great evening in store for you today. My girl Latisse Crawford is here. Y'all know who Latisse is? All right, well, you're going to get to find out what a unique ministry she has. Vashawn Mitchell's in the house. It's going to be a great time. I'm looking forward to having this evening. And again, we want to give a round of applause to Senator Kevin Parker for making sure each year that the dream of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is kept alive. I think, uh, are you giving me, you're not giving are you set? Oh, okay. I, I don't do good with the podium, but it is what it is. Can we give a shout out to our, all of our sponsors to make sure that this night happened again and again and again. One more time for our sponsors. I want to thank those of you that listen to Sunday Praise on 107.5 WBLS Sunday mornings at 7 a.m. You know, originally we had two hours. It was on from 10 to 11, and we had, I don't know if y'all understand market shares, but we had an 11 market share, which is very high for New York listening to gospel music. So then we got moved to 7 a.m., and I can still tell you that the listenership is still very strong even at that time of the morning. Amen? And then WLIB from 12 to 3 on Sundays. Where's my Sunday praise listeners at? All right. I think we're set up. I just had a chance to meet this young man, so we're going to show him a whole lot of love. One more time, make some noise for Dennis Worship.
was beautiful. Come on, show some love. Dennis, what?